I got something here. It looks like a clover or something. I can tell it's uh, either another pendant or like a token or something. Hope it's not broke. Hey y'all, I'm glad you're here. It's hot outside, but who cares? There's always treasure to be found still with your metal detectors. With that being said, let's go dig some old stuff. God bless. I am now an affiliate of We dig metal detectors guys go over and check out andy at we dig metal detectors go to the description in this video go to the link and andy can hook you up with anything that you need for your metal detecting needs pinpointers metal detectors scoops whatever you name it get it over at we dig metal detectors What's up guys? Hey, today I'm at this site where they ripped down a very old building downtown. Um, and I'm gonna swing and got Lance out here with me today. We're gonna see what we can find. Brought the AT Max with me and it could be a complete bust, but we're gonna try anyways. Stay tuned. Here's my first find guys. I have no idea what that is. Could be new, could be old, not sure on that. But I failed to mention, this was a funeral home for years and years, but there's old buildings all around here in the 1800s and right here. So no telling what used to sit here because it's on the downtown square. So it could be a dud hunt, but there's gotta be something in here. Hey y'all, not here with uh, my buddy Lance today and we're detecting a spot where Abraham Lincoln once spoke when he was campaigning for president. Um, we have dug tons of clad, but this is one thing significant that I wanted to uh, show y'all. It's a bell seal. Um, this is pretty cool to find right here. It's actually historic to our county pretty much. Spray that with some water and I'll get back with you. All right guys, this is the coolest thing I've found here so far. Um, yeah, Lincoln spoke here when he campaigned as president of the United States. Um, I'll show you a quick glimpse of the side of this house to give you the age. It was probably built in the 1880s or so. Actually probably late 1870s, but there was a home here way before that, like in the 1850s on this hill. It says l and RR, that'd be Louisville, Nashville Railroad Company. And it was a railroad that went through this town in about the 1870s, so that's pretty cool, man. This is a really cool find and historic to the railroad. The only thing I've found here so far besides clad, it's the only thing I've recorded, but hey, it's always that one thing that can make your whole day. So, all right, I'm gonna get back to it. The Louisville and Nashville Railroad, commonly called the l n was a Class I railroad that operated freight and passenger services in the southeast United States between 1850 
in 1982. It also gained the nickname the Old Reliable and seen lots of usage during the American Civil War on both sides, Union and Confederate. Check out this old cast iron toy that the landowners found. This thing's freaking old. Look at that. That's pretty neat. Anybody know about toys out there? Leave a comment. It's pretty cool. We're hitting some curbs today. Curb strips, whatever you want to call them. Got my first weedy. Got Lance here with me today. It's a rough little start. Been at it about an hour so far. This is the first significant thing I've found, but we're gonna get on it. We're gonna try to get in the yard too today, so stay tuned. That was a 1941 wheat penny, guys. All right, guys, I just pulled, I think a wheat penny out of this hole. And I, I'm pretty sure this is a still scent. It would have been one of those 1943 uh, steel wheat pennies. Cause look at it, it's completely rusted around. I um, think that's a weedy and I got another target in the hole. A little spill here. Guessing another weedy, hopefully it's some silver. Oh, silver. Silver, dude. I hear aggravating me, man. It's like fishing with my buddy. He keeps catching the big ones and I don't get any of them. <laughs> I knew. I knew, dude, because I just found that wheat penny, guys, right here, the first one. And then I dug this stuff. And I knew there was a possibility that there's going to be silver in that hole. So I'm gonna set these here. I'm gonna get my water bottle out. It's probably a rosy, but it could be a mercury dime. It's a rosy, but I'll take that. A lot of people rub the rosies. I probably will too. I'm just gonna get some of the crud off. 1940 and that make 46 i'm sorry and that makes sense because that first wheat was a 41 then i just found these other ones yeah you can definitely tell that's a 1943 steel wheat penny i mean that's my hunch it's just crusty and that's what the ground does is steel um i'm pretty sure this is a Yep, it's another wheat penny that was in there with it, so that's cool. And another wheat penny right along the old sidewalk in this tree right here. Just dug another wheat penny, guys, here. It was a 1940-something. But we just got a door knock at this permission. New house is built in 1906, but the yard of it is a yard of an 1855 house that's right next door, which we're trying to get permission to that one as well right now. So stay tuned. It's about to get interesting. Another wheat penny here. Let's see if we can get a date. 1947. Lance just got his first wheat penny. So that's freaking awesome. He's uh, new to detecting and kind of showing him a little bit of how it goes. That's awesome, dude. Congratulations. Yep. And Hopefully there's many more to come. Yeah, there's more where that come from, I'm sure, out of this yard. I think I finally got my first relic of the day. It's round something. It could be 
a token or a pendant. Yeah, it's a pendant, look. Look at that. Looks like it's made of pewter or something because it's really crusty, but that's, that's old. Don't know what exactly it is. I'm gonna be careful with it, but. Huh, if I see anything on there, I'll let you guys know, but that's definitely a pendant. It would have hung, hung it by a chain right there. A little loop. Awesome. Oh man. Check that out. How cool is that? It's look, a pendant. A little jewel inside of it. You see that little jewel? Yeah. I sprayed it off guys with a little water. It's pewter, so not gonna hurt. Very nothing. cool. What's that That's thing? why it's crusting around there because it's, and it's heavy, it's pewter. And it's old, there were square nails in the hole with it. That is awesome. Dude. I can't read the words, but it says something at the top there. You can see there's letters yeah, right there. I, I was thinking it's A, V, but I might be way That looks like flowers at the bottom there. Yep, it was a flower design with the jewel and the blossom. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, Lance to unpack like he's packing for a camping trip. Look at all these skis he brought. Get him addicted to ski. Yee -yee. I'm killing Lance today. He's, every time I find something, he's like, dang it. I told him he's gonna have his chance, man. He's swinging an Ace 200. He's just now getting into the hobby, but he already loves it and you gotta learn by digging holes, so. I got something here. It looks like a clover or something. I can tell it's uh, either another pendant or like a token or something. I hope it's not broke. Oh, that is freaking cool. And that is freaking old. Looks like it has GS at the top. That's very neat right there. Um, don't know exactly how old it is. I'll post it, see if anybody knows what it is. Looks like it says GS up there. I bet somebody knows what this is watching right now. That's freaking awesome. That's the type of stuff I love to find. It's saving the history, guys. It's in the dirt. Somebody's gotta find it, might as well be us. Girl Scouting in the United States began on March 12, 1912, when Juliet Daisy Gordon Lowe organized the first Girl Guide Troop meeting of 18 girls in Savannah, Georgia. Lowe envisioned an organization that would bring girls out of their homes to serve their communities, experience the outdoors, and have the opportunity to develop self-reliance and resourcefulness. Today, the Girl Scouts have grown to 3.7 million members. Well, I did it. Got me a little Indian today. Um, let's see the day here. I think that's a 1901 Indian head penny. <laughs> Just got him a uh, mercury dime here. That's his first silver ever, and it's a silver uh, mercury dime. That'd be 90% silver. 1941. It's a 1941. That dude, that's awesome. Like this, is like the second time we've been out together, and he's already got a silver. And he switched over to uh, the Equinox 800. I let him borrow it for a little bit, see how he liked it, and look at that, he snagged a silver. Yep. Dude, that's that's good. I'm definitely upgrading my machinery. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Yeah, good thanks, Matt. I think this is a uh, radiator cap off a of Ford Model T. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure that's what they look like. I'm sure somebody knows. Let me know if that's what it is. I'm pretty sure I'll look it up. And you know the drill, I'll show you. We're still hacking away at it. We got a new permission, another house. That's the house to my left. Lance just found this. We don't know what it is, but it's shaped the size of a large set. 
it almost looks like a large scent that went through a fire. I mean, it really does. It's got the weight and the size. Ain't no telling, but it'd be a good candidate for uh, electrolysis. So, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's a crusty burp thing. I'll go with that. Vines are slim in this new yard, but just snagged another wheat penny, 1958.